Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to the Binding of Isaac Rebro. So I'm doing the Family Man Challenge, and really haven't broken out of it much. Did make it to Guppy, have gotten a decent amount of items in general. Um, there is weirdness, certainly. We're not sure if Mom's Heart is really where this ends, or if I'm really supposed to go all the way to Mega Satan. Um, I'm not quite there as far as where i'd like to be i did get one half of the key that could then replace the left trigger key in the top left and then i could get a better item potentially i've done a lot of deals with the devils probably messing up getting any more deals with the angels um but yeah there is a decent chance here we will succeed it is another one of these challenges where you don't get to shoot, so you just have your little buddies following you. Um, I did get nine lives, and so we potentially can have nine lives plus Eternal Caller, maybe. So nine plus lives. Uh, damage is not quite as high as I'd like it to be. Speed's fine. Range is not great, and frankly the shot speed is atrocious but for our little buddies. Uh, we do have bigger uh, bigger flies, which will help with Guppy, and Attack Fly and Revenge Fly. Um, just was able to buy a decent amount of stuff to through the shops, through a good turnout of coinage. So, yeah. Hopefully this works. If it doesn't, then we'll just do a regular run after this. Well, we'll do a regular run anyways. I'll do the High Priestess card. That was not the time to do the High Priestess card, obviously. Uh, right. So really all I need to do is take one damage and, uh, and let the Revenge Fly do all the work. Hmm. Interesting. So that puts us, we're going to the cathedral. We're not going to Satan, I guess. Um, but it doesn't mean we're done either. So the, there's still a decent amount of room for failure here. Um, and like we're not super powered. So ideally we probably just want to try and see if we can get through this whole area as quickly as possible like fighting a envy guy and a small envy guy you can see how just incredibly slow this would be hmm and incredibly dangerous so let's just leave Hmm. We didn't find a secret room. Maybe we can use the secret room to get out of this area. Nope. Looks like we're going to once again be stuck fighting this guy. But since we took damage now, at least the revenge fly will do the rework. Yeah. And a lot of, just like a lot of these no shoot challenges you create a scenario where it's just really slow and really dangerous um since it's obvious we're not going to mega satan at this point so what well, we didn't really need to fight the angel statue hmm. just a lot of immortal heads flying around and the revenge fly can only go so far and so fast to fight somebody hmm. and then we're having to find the one envy head that is actually the bad guy that can be killed that was a lot uh, it was definitely a lot. We have Maggie's Faith, which probably would have helped a little bit more. Hmm. 
But you can see how in a fight like this, all of a sudden it's it's a little bit more doable. I should have actually gone back to the floor and picked up a trinket in the previous floor because I did have the red patch rage increaser. And that certainly would have helped more. As far as just constantly moving your damage upward. Getting keys at this point doesn't really do anything. Getting bombs can be maybe useful if you can fight with them, which I'd have to be careful about trying to do that. Remember, even though we have 10 lives here, they're going to be like one hit lives. I desperately would need tinted rocks or something else to help shift the narrative on this. Yeah. We'll want to clear this room specifically because if we die, it's it's then just going to be a case of respawning in this room. So we need that safety spot. Okay. See if we can find a super secret room somewhere. Hmm. Red hearts, which. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could get a trigger trigger item besides bad trip. I'm not sure we will. I don't think it's really worth it to. To go look we're gonna just have to roll the dice with our current build and hope this works that's all i can hope for i suppose we do have the red fly that can do fairly high amount of damage to get them to the first phase or through the first phase and then if we can just get the revenge fly to decide to attack by getting close enough to him we can just let the revenge fly do the rest of the damage for us really just kind of cheesing it here all right i'm taking some damage here this isn't going to be a flawless victory but i think we're going to get it hmm. Revenge Fly really being the only thing that it saved us. And there's no reason whatsoever to go look at the rest of the floor. Just take this. Unlock Epic Fetus and Glass Cannon. Hmm. Which, it's weird that Glass Cannon Challenge 11 was locked behind either doing a certain number of challenges <laughs> or it was locked behind specifically doing family man like almost certainly before the wrath of the lamb dlc you would have only had 10 challenges and then you would have gotten 11 through 20 later on mm, but maybe not maybe they got re rearranged okay now for runs um uh, what do we want to go with? Let's do an Eden run and just hope for a good run and see if that does something for us. Uh, let's see, we can look at our stats. We're starting with Vampire Kiss and some kind of book that I think does like psychic see through shots. Feels very slow, to say the least. Yeah, homing shots. But I also seem to have the little triangle homing element. 
we had a challenge where enough items turned the triangle attack into a very big triangle. And that was a fairly easy challenge. This is different, obviously. So I guess we just pop the item. I mean, it's probably not doing anything bad. So we just pop it in, in fights, unless it's reducing our damage. It's probably not a good start, but I, I don't really know if you reset here if you're not then using another Eden token. And honestly, it feels like just losing a certain number of times as Eden should probably unlock something got one soul heart so <laughs> not in a great position health wise um, let's go ahead and pop this and that, that gets us up to two soul hearts hmm. Now these Eden runs, basically, are the same as regular runs. So, you still could get deals with the devil, you still could get um, items and secret rooms, super secret rooms. So we'll play in that concept. Interesting, he just ate something but without any red hearts, the ki kiss of the vampire can't do anything so immediately we need an HP up which is not particularly hard to do if we were to get a deal with the devil on the first floor which I'm not sure you can do um, I don't know if I would really want to take it or well, I definitely wouldn't want to take it there's no deal to take um, as far as an actual trade maybe we could get some red chests that would give us soul hearts It's, it's nice to see that I was able to finish a challenge because I was getting slightly concerned that the rest of the series, however long is left in it, was going to devolve into me failing challenges over and over again and spending significant amounts of time trying to do the challenges over and over again off screen. But yeah, once we get the challenges done, it is just runs all the way through at that point. Which clearly we have more runs we need to do. Hey, getting one health up. Alright, we have four coins, which would probably not be worth anything. Rubber cement, balancing tears, is better than Ipecac, which is what I thought that was going to be. Alright. Let's go in here. And let's just take a three cent pill and then not blow up that. It's a decent re argument that the secret room is there. And then the super secret room would almost have to be here because it can't be on either side of this. And it can't be on either side of this. So we'll risk it and see if it's here. Nope. Well, that's all we can check. Let's move on. Hmm. 
any accomplishment with Eden is great. If we go all the way to the cathedral and beat Isaac, that's great. If we do the boss rush, that's even that's amazing. Um, if we go fight the Satan and the Lamb, that's fine. If we beat Mega Satan, that's amazing. Uh, if we fail miserably and don't accomplish any of those things, that's pretty bad. Alright, that was a speed up pill. There we go. Hmm. So, so much for the Eden run, which is, I think, fine. Next, we'll just go with Kane. Um, I think we'll just go all the way around with each of the characters. It's probably not a useful starting item, but it's not like we're going to get D6 on the first floor and re-roll it. Let's see, take a pill, take this, go in here. We'll just take on Monstro immediately. Luck down. We kind of started with a luck up with the lucky foot, so now we're just down to normal luck. Plus, we now know one of the pills in our collection. And I imagine having a high luck only slightly affects whether you would get a luck down pill or not. Hmm. Yeah, that is an interesting thought that if you had a luck, if you were so lucky that you would never get anything unlucky happening to you, then you would just perpetually become more and more lucky forever. no damage spot shot speed and damage up okay we took no damage in that fight we did not get a deal with the devil that's not super surprising if we had a bomb and we bombed our way into that probably wouldn't want to do that but I could see a reason to try Alright, so we're going down the faith track with the rosary bead. We're having to ignore all this. We have one coin, one key. And down we go. So ideally, we would immediately get a deal with the angel if we can do that. And just find the boss fight room as quickly as possible. And I guess we'll play a little carefully and not just immediately go into this item room in case we get a golden key. Getting a golden key on the second floor in, is probably exactly the same as getting it on one of the much later floors. Um, odds are you're going to use a key to open the shop and a key to open the item room. The only thing else you'd use a key for is like one of the double key rooms. There we go. Hmm. All right. Oh, darn it. Now it was puberty, which I think also did damage to me. 
Interesting, I didn't realize puberty did damage to you. Hmm. Odds of us getting a Joker card on this floor are not high. So we'll leave those on the floor and come back and get them later. And we'll wait and see if we can get an I can see forever pill. Hmm. Okay, so not a lot going on on this floor. Got this, which I guess we can put a bomb here to get into here, and I guess we can put a bomb to get into the sacrifice room for free, which that too didn't get us into a devil room. I really am just going to have to step up my game if I'm going to try and get really good runs it's just really easy to take damage on the floor and and have that wreck that exponential growth that you potentially can have by fighting uh, by getting the devil deals and the angel deals well I couldn't get to the super secret room. Odds are if we had gone into the super secret room, best case scenario would have been an eternal heart anyways. Um, there isn't really anything else that could have been in it. Maybe rosary beads causes you to drop an occasional eternal heart instead of just red hearts. Or get soul hearts. I thought it caused you to get soul hearts. Maybe it does a little bit of both. Okay. Probably don't want to go into the sacrifice room. Also, probably never going to use the left trigger item. Although I could, certainly. If it started to get a little bit hairy, uh, I could try and back off the enemies, but honestly, it probably wouldn't help much. Back them off just long enough for them to then attack again. Here we have two stores and two keys. Hmm. Hmm. So one of those is probably a library. So we probably would be well suited. We still have yet to get the bookworm unlocked, so I, I'm not 100% sure that that is something in Rebirth or if that is something in just a Afterbirth, Afterbirth Plus. I did watch a little bit of people playing Afterbirth and Afterbirth Plus, uh, but mostly I have not been watching a lot of people play Binding of Isaac uh, until Repentance came out, so I kind of fell off the fandom. can't walk on the green stuff either, can I? Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is gonna take a while and probably not give us a, a deal with the devil. Okay. We have three hearts. We're going for Angel Path. We're gonna ignore the deal with the devil on this floor. 
Like, we're kind of in a bad position either way. Cube of meat. If we could get several cubes of meat and finally unlock Super Meat Boy, that would that would be nice. Um, again, that's like one of those things that really you just unlock because you played Isaac a lot. And while you generally would agree with the idea of a game just rewarding people who played it a lot, that there is there is a level of just for lack of a better term, pulling people's leg and and being ridiculous as far as how long you expect somebody to play play your game. Uh, I have certainly seen that in plenty of achievements. Uh, play, play a game like on Christmas Day, uh, for instance, is just an absurd abs assumption that people would remember or be playing your game one day out of the year, potentially 360 five days uh, earlier um, then there's definitely been other challenges that were even more ridiculous that could not be completed without devoting way too much of your life to a video game All right, so we got the splash now Do we have enough bombs to look for secret rooms and super secret rooms, though? Or do we take the default reward of a coin and blow up four mushrooms? I think you do that instead. Okay. Temporary damage up versus the Bible temporary flight. Well, we can certainly use the Bible for that much. But I think we'll stick with the Book of Belial. Then we've got 12, which is enough to give us a discount key and a pill. And we already have locked up our donation machine, so we don't have to deal with that. And down we go. Anything changing our mind now as far as skipping the deal with the devil? No. I don't think so. If we could really haul butt, we could potentially get to the boss rush. That was the wrong direction to go with this Book of Belial at full charge. Hmm. 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 Let's see, come down this way, pop this. are exploding everything but they made a nice little bridge so I could take this pill so we need to figure out if the pill is useful or not it's just not really a floor to, to use a pill on odds are a little too high that whatever the pill does would not actually hit these guys these guys are staying very close to each other Making it difficult to hit him. Hmm. Okay. Next item room. Another damage. If we go into the boss room and if we have one bomb, that that works for us. The reason why this works for us is because 
that means if we get an angel deal, which we might, that was a bad trip. So, kind of a bad time to use that. If we get an angel deal, which is a bigger if now, um, and we blew up the statue, that probably would increase our odds of more angel deals. Alright, all stats up, health up, great. Here we go. Two eternal hearts for a health up. So really big. Bomb was ready. Hmm. Here we have the more difficult red robed character. Hmm. And it seems to me like you always end up with key piece two first, but maybe it's random or maybe it's not random at all and you should get key piece one if you want to have any chance of getting key piece two. Hmm. Yeah, key piece two, question mark, question mark, question mark. Take that. What we'd be looking for now is flying um, and just kind of anything else on the floor that would be helpful. There's kind of no reason to hold on to the bad trip pill, but we'll take it anyways. Maybe we can get a PhD. Um, let's see if we can convince this guy to attack me. Come on. Come on, guys. Uh, I desperately want them to come this direction, but they just don't seem like they want to do that. Alright. That, that probably wasn't worth the time. But, whatever. This heavily indicates that the secret room is over there on the right, but we don't have any bombs. I suppose it is just better for you, even if you are a mediocre player like me, to run for the boss rooms and Try and clear them before you take damage first. Okay. We have basically zero chance of having anything we could buy in this. Maybe if we'd gotten three coins, we could have bought a red heart. Um, if we could fly, we could have gotten everything here. Question is, is there any way we could have flown? I'd say no. Like, we, something amazing would have had to have happened. Pick up that, that, down this way, down this way, go through here. Here we have a blue uh, cross. This is something we unlocked with Maggie before, and I guess it's going to occasionally generate soul hearts. Does it do it with red hearts? Um, we should just test to make sure it's not like a dark bomb that that we'll move around and try and grab red hearts. Nope, doesn't seem like it does. 
I wonder if it's a blue cross because I couldn't use a red cross for fear of being sued since the red cross does like to sue people. And there's nothing in there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that the Red Cross like fervently defends a copyright claim on on a simplistic Red Cross Lego. Hmm. To the point where you can't use it in a lot of video games or a lot of video game companies are afraid to use it. I should have popped the Book of Belial at the beginning of this fight. That would have made a lot more sense. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta be just a little careful not to let him put a bomb in my face. Okay. Next. Hmm. Some of these rooms just have too many opportunities for for damage to happen, cheap hits. So there it dropped a soul heart. Was that because I took damage? Hmm. Hmm. We didn't get a soul heart when we took damage that time, but that's not super surprising. It'd be kind of crazy if it constantly gave out soul hearts. Hmm. 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 There we've got some more soul hearts. Which... I kind of don't want to pick up now, but I probably should just pick up now. Hmm. What we're going to end up doing is setting ourselves up really, really nicely as far as soul hearts are concerned for the next floor. But ideally, we would have the... I'm going to put that there. And that there. Yeah. I ideally, we would get a deal with the angel on this floor but we've taken a lot of damage on this floor. So, unless we can find a Joker card, that'd be about the only thing I could imagine happening. Look for a super secret room there. Super secret room there. Heck, well, we'll take all that. Hmm. We'll take this and this. We'll go in here. Hmm. We'll take a discount bomb and blow up this in hopes that that increases our odds of a um, deal with the devil. Pill bottle, 
is an interesting thought. I don't know if the pills in this run are particularly good. Here we have Revenge Fly. I think we're setting ourselves up very nicely at this point. As far as just how high our damage is, how high our shot speed is. We may be even setting ourselves up for a Lord of the Flies um, unlock. But we blew this up, so there can't be a secret room there, can there? Hmm. So what are we gambling for? Flies. Yeah, I may want to come back and get the red patch, but I don't think I do. And we've got a choice of here or there if we find a bomb or where the secret room would be. If we find it. We didn't leave anything in this room. Hmm. Yeah, we are definitely on the path of just having a ridiculous amount of soul hearts. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well. We have no bombs, we have a full charge, we can't fly to get to the key. Yep. So there's nothing else I think we can do other than maybe buying a pill. Which I guess we might as well do, just buy this pill, take it now, range down. Take this card with us and move on. Hmm. Alright, taking on the adversary. Hmm. I'm going I'm shooting for something here where I would potentially take no damage at all on the adversary because that might unlock something. Um, obviously we didn't pull that off. Um, we're, we are on Necropolis 2, so I'm going to skip the deal with the devil and try and get a second deal with the angel. And I hope that that is not a mistake. Okay. Moving on. These are the immortal heads, so the only thing we really have to hit is those. Hmm. 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 I'm probably going to save that battery for later. Are we going to gamble with that? No. Are we going to gamble with that? Probably not. Not unless we can fly. And even at that point, I don't know if there's a good argument to potentially waste a lot of time gambling. We may be past the point of a boss rush anyways, but if we aren't, now this wouldn't be a terrible build to try that out. Of course, I'm still not really a good enough player to take on a boss rush. Just a collection of the floor's bosses all in a row. And honestly, I may just never be that good of a player. It, it may take too many hours of gameplay 
beyond what I would be willing to ever invest. Sticky feet. Hmm. We have enough keys to to do that. And just yeah, we're getting a higher rate of eternal hearts, definitely. Arguably, maybe you just get more eternal hearts the more times you reject deals with the devil. That. That might be the way the game works. And mm, those temptations have just always been too great. I mean, that would make a lot of sense. Okay. Depths 2. Would this be mom's heart? If it, if it is, then... Oops. My, my hope then would be that these are telepills. Hmm. Hmm. This is the red foot version of mom's foot. Where it doesn't spawn any other creatures. It just stomps you a lot. Hmm. And that means you have to move fairly fast. I don't know why I didn't pop this earlier. Because hmm. you have to avoid and then align so that you can get arguably just a couple of shots off sometimes. Fate chosen, taking the deal with the devil at this point. Now we have the W Ward of Babylon. I found pills. We've stupidly left the shop on this floor and maybe a challenge room on this floor, but whatever. What that didn't do was let us get to the boss rush. We were too slow for that. Uh, nine minutes too slow, really. So yeah, you, you really have to, you have to be really good at, at just rushing. Now we're into the womb floors, which won't have item rooms. So building up our fight style now is mostly gonna revolve around the idea of just building up our souls. Hmm, I was not expecting that. A double length room with nothing on the one side. Hmm. Yeah. We could still find Dad's key. Hmm. Hmm. And get the Mega Satan that way. Otherwise we may just end up going to the lamb. I don't know if Maggie's faith is better than than what we have now. 
Just like getting a massive amount of soul hearts does kind of feel like more what you'd want. But Maggie's Faith gives you potentially eternal hearts. So let's just play with it. This is not a good room. I mean, it, it is a very basic room, but the enemy collection in it is uh, a little scary. on playing going a little quiet because this it really just focus now that's pretty much all we can do is just focus and and hope for success um, I don't even know if there really is an argument to go to every room Yeah, we'd be looking for a super secret room anyways, and I need to check the maps before I start looking for secret rooms, just so I know whether or not I've already found the secret room. Which seems like happens a little more often than I would have thought. 25 coins on the beggar would be great if I could fly, but I'm not willing to take damage to... reach the beggar and potentially pick up the items okay and I guess you do want to clear every room so if somebody is chained to the wall couldn't there be a secret super secret room there I suspect no Cards against humanity. Before we do anything else, let's play with the lucky rock, I guess. Hmm. Missing page, it glows with power versus Maggie's faith. Take the cards against humanity into this room. Poop it here. And watch as the game slows down, barely abling to handle that many items spawning at once. Uh, I feel like Repentance also tweaked a lot of those systems to make the game a little bit smoother when you get into these crazy scenarios of having dozens of poops all in one room. Uh, in a real way, it, it's their own fault. They shouldn't have ever created a card that just spawned poop in every square in the room. It would have been way better to have it appear in a smaller pattern and didn't double the odds of you um, of you getting items. Hmm. There are shiny lucky coins 
that are in repentance also. So it's important to know when know that that is a thing. So sometimes you'll run into these shiny coins that you pick up and then another coin will appear and you chase it around the room as more coins potentially appear. Mm. Mm. Gives you a little bit more to do as you're potentially picking up things. I don't know if there are shiny lucky uh, keys or bombs. Uh, I would suspect that there might be shiny keys but probably not shiny bombs. We went in here already. Yeah, and there would be no reason to go into the sacrifice room or the curse room. Yeah, we really don't even see sacrifice rooms that often, do we? Um, yeah, we're not flying. And we found both the secret room and the super secret room. So, off we go. That was a speed up hill. Do we have a bomb even if we did get into the deal with the angel? No. It's really important to, to hold on to a few bombs, obviously. And I do a terrible job at that. There, we've got another cube of meat. I think we'd need to get at least one more cube of meat, if not two. Ideally, this would be Krampus's head. If we can get Krampus's head, then that significantly increases our odds of success. Hmm. No Krampus's head, unfortunately. Um, it's not worth doing anything else. Let's go. We probably will beat Mom's heart. We could go to Isaac, certainly. And try and beat Isaac. Um, well, that's an awkward room, to say the least. Without the second key piece, it's kind of not even worth it to try to take on Shoal and Satan. It's just a room full of a lot of flies. And red poops, which seems a little unfair. Poison touch, we wouldn't be able to re roll that, anyways. So, of course, we take it. Well, I said we wouldn't be able to re roll it. Maybe we will be able to re roll it. 
this would be an interesting question as to whether we want to re-roll things or not. And what things we'd want to re-roll. I guess we don't really have to answer that question though. Since that was nothing but a couple of treasure chests. Hmm. But you'd almost expect that you would unlock the chest floor by opening a certain number of like gold chests or something. That there would be some kind of logical connection there. But there isn't. Do you have enough bombs here? This is womb two, womb two, which would be mom's heart. We might as well just do it now. Let's should have popped that earlier. Uh, Revenge Fly will just win this for us, so... Well, it will pretty much just avoid taking damage. Hmm. Deal with the Devils just going down. Down this way. So, yeah. Let's look at the rest of this floor. Um, looking for... I guess super secret rooms if we can find them. If we could get dad's key, that would be something. Then we could go down to Mega Satan and get our first Mega Satan defeat. Mega Satan's weird in particular because of the fact that isn't he's called Mega Satan. Uh, but then he, while he was kind of like an ultimate enemy at one point, he was, he's like one of the very early ultimate enemies, which really just, I think once again, highlights how the creators of The Binding of Isaac specifically were not <laughs> planning for the game to go as far as it has gone and have the level of fandom and, and content in it that it has. It's struggling, to say the least, to try and continue. Uh, where are the bombs? Where'd the bombs go? I could have sworn I had two bombs. Hmm. Let's see if we can just knock this guy into the spikes. Apparently not. Hmm. Oh, well, we can't get into that room. Is there anything else to look at? I guess not. Hmm. Wasn't too bad, though, to go back and at least get infamy. That potentially helps us some more on damage. All right, we're gonna have to do a little practice here. Hmm. Hmm. If this guy decides to put a troll bomb on the floor, I'm gonna have a hard time getting away from it. That is probably one of the absolute worst items. Hmm. Was there another beggar or something on the floor? I don't know. I'm gonna say let's just keep going upward to the cathedral. 
Um, yeah, it's just not worth it. My time to go look at the entire floor again. All right. So the stars may teleport us far away, which then can help us figure out where the boss fight would be a little bit quicker. Maybe saving us some frustration. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and blow this up. Since we do have enough keys and we're not going to get into the chest anyways. Getting coins. It's not helpful. Blue rock here, so just I'm going to risk it and take a guaranteed return. This is a run where we only have one health, so it's important to take note of that. Again, we'll just take a guaranteed return. Um, we, we don't have nine lives, we don't have eternal caller, so if we fail, we fail on the first attempt. There's no secret thing in the game that would just give you a second chance a one in a million times or anything like that. Just going for these big rooms in hopes that they get us to the boss fast. Hmm. Oh, darn it. Just... I don't know what I was thinking there. I just stalled and had a brain fart. Did it again. Yeah, don't feel particularly warmed up for this fight. Maybe I'm a little exhausted after an hour of playing, plus whatever amount of time I have been playing off screen. Okay, that was a bomb. We could run around the entire floor and we might even do that after the fact, but let's just take on Isaac. Kane versus Isaac. Immediately hit this. Hmm. Uh, Revenge Fly, remember, will take him out for us. So all we kind of have to do is Take not take no damage. Just get near him, let revenge fly, take the rest of it. That one got me in the corner even though it shouldn't have. Hmm. Yep. Again, sometimes you just take some dumb damage but we've got this it'd be very crazy if I was to if I was gonna lose um let's go clean the rest of the floor up just just for the fun of it I suppose There probably is some kind of crazy unlock for doing the cathedral without taking any damage. I could see if you had a head of Krampus or something that happening. But in most cases, I think you, you're not likely to, to have that scenario happen. Jumping all over the place. Hmm. I don't think there's any reason to take a range down pill before you move on to the next floor. There is a possibility that we go through the chest and 
it does actually take us to the chest. So taking a range down at that point would would be silly. Hmm. I guess what could happen is if you could get a Joker card. I don't I don't know if there's any way specifically to get to Yeah. I don't know how you'd get to Satan or Shoal or anything. Hmm. Well shouldn't have taken any of those coins, there was no point. We might as well re-roll as well, re-roll. Um, what it's not going to re-roll, though, is the fact that you're Kane. So, you're not going to magically... Uh, get a free victory or an easy victory against Isaac as, say, the blue baby. Which, we don't even need that. Unless... If we were playing on hard, then we do need that, of course. We need everything on hard. Hmm. This would have been a good room to pop the items on. Uh, those pills are good. Poison touch killed that. Okay, well, got some coins on the floor and some items on the floor. Let's go ahead and drop that. Take Maggie's Faith. Actually, let's just drop Maggie's Faith too. Touch this, re-roll everything. Hmm. Two of diamonds. Might as well pop the co coins. Red hearts all over the place. Got pills. That's a health up. Oh, the bum is taking all the coins. Let's let's see what he does for us. see pink eye poison shots red heart we'll see if there's a secret room here I guess the answer to that is no hmm. do we think there's a secret room anywhere hmm Stats are all over the place. Have a charged shot. Spiders. I doubt there's a secret room there. Secret room here. I'll let the bum take them all. He's just gonna shoot out pills and like pills and hearts. Not really worth it. Hmm. Eh, super secret room might be here. Couldn't really be there. Couldn't 
Couldn't really be there. Couldn't really be there. Last bomb. Hmm. Super secret room could have been there. Probably was a great place to check check first. And we have a judgment. HP up. And go. Yeah. Same ending. Nothing new. But that should have unlocked something. Coin bag has now appeared in the basement. Yeah. That, that doesn't feel like much of a reward, frankly, um, for as far as we went. Like, and what's funny is that probably is just the standard run going forward, is that we will, um, if you have no other options, we will end up just going to Cathedral, um, and that's gonna get weird certainly as we try to struggle to go further a lot of these characters we should just go for the lamb since we have the negative anyways and beat the lamb like mega satan and boss rush are gonna obviously still be issues i don't even know if mega satan has a stamp let's check out this challenge um 11 glass cannon and then that very possibly will just be the end of these runs All right. so we have the devil horns we have dr fetus and we have the book of belial so hmm maybe that's not dr fetus so you basically just put that there and that does a massive amount of damage, but you can aim, but then you have to avoid because you've got nothing else you can do. So, obviously what this challenge is all going to be about is avoidance techniques and positioning and taking your time to oops four-way shot what was that about I guess sometimes you just get a four-way shot hmm. Hmm. since you have an infinite number of bombs it totally does behoove you to try your very best and blow up every single rock and every single uh, item and even on this first floor you might be in a pretty good position to end up with a decent amount of coins hmm. the angle when it goes four way is a little wonky there you go guppy's collar if we immediately get guppy or very quickly get guppy in a run like this then that can certainly save you a lot of work too will take the soul heart as it is hmm ooh this is gonna be dangerous certainly don't want to get too close now we have fear shots which is 
probably not that useful. Because once you hit the people, the, they're going to be dead. So the glass part about this is your health, obviously. Once you break out of that idea and you have a couple of things that will save you on the health, you, you kind of break out of being a glass cannon and then are just a cannon. Come on. Okay. With six cents, we could get another soul heart. Also, yeah, does make sense to break every everything we can break. Um, for time management's sake, let's just go. See if this gives us a dollar. No, it doesn't. Blow it up. Take two bombs. Uh, I can't imagine a scenario where I'm gonna need a lot of bombs. Hmm. What did I leave in the room over on the right? Hmm. So you could have some kind of nightmare scenario where there are explosive characters also blowing up uh, near you and as we start to run into faster characters I could see problems there hmm. Take a coin, take another soul heart. And I guess the question really will come down to how far do we have to go. And see if this led to a uh, boss rush, would that really help us? So we're going to have to decide what these pills do. Tears up. I can see forever. Range up. Hematosis. Which doesn't even matter. And we'll take the other pill with us. Um, I want to go check that room though. I I bet there's nothing of interest in that, that room. But... want to check it. Nope, there is a chest. Okay, that was totally worth double checking. Is there something for three cents we could buy here? No. Hmm. Alright, so how far do we have to go? Looks like Mom's heart minimum, possibly the cathedral, all the way. This is going to be more of a challenge. Yeah, it's the little spiders that are going to kill you. Uh, anything that can move fast hmm. Hmm. yeah anything that even has a slight chance 
of doing damage to you if it moves fast now has a much higher chance of doing damage to you. Let's just go out and back in. Take that bomb. That was weird. Like, when you move, it moves the three cursors that are mirroring your your actual cursor when it does the Loki horn. Hmm. Suppose what we need is some real health up. Need real luck. Yeah, and that shows how you're still really gonna need like a two shot. Yeah. This feels like a run that's gonna heavily rely on luck. Like you can get really lucky and beat this on the first run, or you can get really unlucky and end up struggling heavily with it just because of the quick unexpected deaths that are gonna happen. And it heavily is going to center around can you consistently play Isaac without taking any damage at all and for me the answer is no to that we might as well just go here and check on this Okay, ideally we want to get this also, but a black candle is a start, giving us a black heart and a, and curse immunity. Got to be careful not to accidentally touch the button. Wealth from Chaos. Hmm. Well that sucked. So we'll now start picking up bombs. Although, I can't really imagine that there's a lot we can really do with bombs. It, we're already in a dangerous position, putting ourselves in a worse position by trying to walk up to enemies to place bombs doesn't sounds smart. Hmm. Okay. Coin bomb. Eternal heart. That might settle us. Right. Do we have anything else we can get? We wanted seven cents. I don't think we're gonna get seven cents. So 
Yeah, and I don't think it's worth it to try and run around the entire floor looking for 7 cents that just won't be there. Or 2 cents, in this case. I suppose if we can get 2 cents... It's, it's kind of weird we're playing as Judas. I guess maybe that's just the default it would be if um, you start with one health. HP up. We're going far enough that it makes some sense to not not increase our damage like our damage is already very high anyways and keeping our health up I think is better I'm gonna skip the deal with the devil yeah ideally going for defensive deal with the angel items um, and frankly for free we could potentially blow up the angel statues That's probably a good deal. Not so much a de good deal there. Hmm. Troll bombs still can wreck me. if we really were checking for secret rooms so we can waste some extra time we'll have to be careful not to do to that too much hmm. Hmm. Here. do we know what this is yes it's paralysis so we don't have to test for that and in a case like this, you may not be able to damage them. So you'll have to, like, produce massive amounts of damage and hit them three times. Because you can't damage them fast enough. have to question the value of the book of belial though like and that was ranged down i was hoping that was balls of steel that's why i popped it there yeah it feels like some of the very final bosses would make sense using book of belial or just using it on each floor boss make some sense all right so if I was gonna actually get to that I have to hit that first then that I still don't think there really is a bomb beggar in this game uh, in this version there there is in repentance Let's just gen generally place these in hopes that they'll clear out parts of the layout. Hmm. Hmm. This feels fairly slow as a run yeah the guys can just kind of appear wherever they want 
Hmm. It kind of feels like you should be able to hit the earth and do some level of damage to underground characters. Otherwise, you create a scenario where there's just far too many enemies already that can turtle and just never, never actually surface and, and become at risk. Hmm. Do I need double bombs? Hmm. No, I guess we take the pill and you take a key and you, you just keep the coins for the next floor. Hmm. We're looking for super secret rooms because there's no reason to not find it. Also looking for secret rooms because there's no reason to not find it. I feel like using this setup though, you, you do have a situation where you can feel like you've searched an area, but yeah, we're just a little bit off. Hmm. It's gonna take several hits to blow up. Super secret rooms. Hmm. Where could it be? Where could a super secret room be then? Hmm. Yeah. We might as well just use some bombs to make sure we've tested each wall. Hmm. Oh, it was here. Good. Um, poison shots now with bombs probably better maybe do a little bit more damage and with that we'll buy a bomb and be more careful with our bombs going forward so we pop that first Health up. Hmm, we skipped a deal with the devil and we gotta deal with the devil anyway, so at this point we might as well take it. He really can only af afford to take, skip one deal with the devil. And that's about it. On a run. We probably got to deal with the devil because we have like more dark hearts than we do soul hearts. Oops. I was not thinking about how I was actually going to reach the chest. So we blew up all the rocks. I guess I need to determine whether or not I want to bother. Darn it. Hmm. 
do I want to bother to try and gamble for I mean because I could go and try and gamble and get a bunch of soul hearts I suppose and you have to put those bombs right on top of that hmm. counterfeit penny Okay. Yep. Darn it, darn it. Let's just try and check that room and failed miserably. Okay. Let's go in here. I can't do anything with that. So that is a quick fight for that. Okay, so you hit this, 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 this. And take the blood bag and get some HP up. And yeah, I guess we're getting away from the glass cannon concept, which was the thing we needed to break out of this floor. I guess I'll not stick with the poison shots. challenge like this probably should have been given to you way earlier because it really shows you like the fact that it's not worth your time to blow up rocks whereas I think a lot of players may play a lot of Isaac before they realize that it isn't worth their effort Make sure there's no secret room there. Hmm. 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 Yeah, if we could get money equals damage, that would be nice. Otherwise, I guess we're not looking for anything too crazy hmm. getting an eternal heart out of the slot machine is a little wild um in again for just time management sake i'll grab the eternal heart now when normally you wouldn't want to do that i think we can fairly guess that the boss room is up. Right, come on. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Just check for super secret rooms. I doubt there's one here. Let's go and just... Um, I guess we, we take the counterfeit penny. We've seen too many coin related things on this run. So I suspect that it will continue to play that way for the rest of the run. Okay. So you bomb that. And then we can bomb that. And... I guess that didn't work as well as I would have liked it to because it blew up the center one and then it blew several of the other ones this way. I could have instead bombed it here and blown up one and then slowly worked my way towards angles. 
Yeah. I should have thought of that more. Pill, we don't know what it does. Pill, we don't know what it does. these little bombs right next to me so again if I want to blow up a poop I need it to to be further all right steam sales not likely to help us but maybe it would steam sale in 40 Thick sense. If we could get a nice different left trigger item, that would be appreciated. Okay. So we're looking for super secret rooms. I already checked both of these, but notice how I didn't check well enough. Yeah, and there was no way around that one, so. Yep, yeah, there's nothing else that we can do on this floor. Let's move on. Lemon party. Totally useless. If he offered us real deals with the devil, I pretty much couldn't take him. Hmm. Hmm. So I guess that guarantees us deals with the devil though, so whatever, I mean, I might as well. We got that for free. Is it really worth it to... think you really want swallowed penny I think you're way better off a of counterfeit penny you could have swallowed penny while doing a fight in a room and then switch to counterfeit penny but really isn't worth your time to try and have both trinkets at the same time unless you can actually hold both trinkets at the same time which maybe you can do that in repentance if you have an item hmm. is it in any way worth a worth a key to get a bomb I'd say no hmm. there we have Pertho Come on. 
Okay, so we have a Pertho change, which we'll try here. And that gives us the Relic instead of Dry Baby, which is a way better card. A way better pickup. So that worked out extremely well. Maybe it... No, it didn't change the bomb that was there. <laughs> so I guess Pertho is like a D dice shard. Which then actually does make a interesting question as far as why dice shards exist at all. If they're effectively doing something that already existed. But maybe there are some items that just replicate beat for beat the the same effects and they just wanted those effects to happen more often. Hmm. So what we are probably doing now is out countering the situation that we had before, which was that it wasn't really worth it to go into each room and potentially blow yourself up or, or get blown up. Now it is barely worth it. Hmm. I don't think there's any item rooms here. So we want to keep maybe one key to get to a shop. And then we'll come back. Meanwhile. Hmm. Hmm. Darn it. These things are going to be a nightmare. Right, see, that was a secret room, which means then this is not going to be something. Okay. Hive mind, giant spiders and flies. Key. Seven cents battery. Lemon party. And while we're here, no reason not to blow up rocks. Hmm. And I would assume that means that the rooms in the top left are not connecting to the boss fight room. Otherwise, this is a weird layout. We pretty much started in this room. Okay. okay. Out we go. Throw off that. Is there a good argument to go to the sacrifice room? No. We want to squeeze ourselves into a corner. Hmm. Empress or Lemon Party? Honestly, I think Lemon Party is better. Okay. Hurry through that without taking damage. Hmm. I guess the question to ask would be, if I have two charges on this item, does that potentially uh, let me pop it twice and do double the damage? Here we have a Jair Abundance, which would be Luck Up and Judgment. Okay, 
so we'll try and use a Jera to double everything. I'm going to put the Jera down and continue with the counterfeit penny. <laughs> okay, so I have to put something where I am going to be. So just put it here. And then... Yep, this is going to be a problem. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can duplicate trinkets. And I don't think there's any reason to, to do that. They've put a potential run killer room in here, probably by just random accident more than anything else. Get this. We might as well just take this stuff. I guess I could put a lemon party and use that to clear that floor. Let's pop that. Oops. That's not what I was expecting. But actually that will work fairly nicely. Hmm. Right, so we'll have to put a bomb there. First, troll bombs. Okay. Open one, place Jera, do Jera. It doesn't double our lunch, but it does give us keys. We can luck up now twice. It doesn't double our counterfeit wealth. It does give us a lemon party. Hmm. Well, this guy had plenty of opportunities to pay out more and chose not to. I'm going to consider that sealing his own fate. So I'm just going to do a lemon party. versus lemon party I'm going to take limper lemon party um counterfeit wealth versus the child's heart 
Mm. I'm going to take the child's heart in that case, because maybe that would get us more soul hearts. Hmm. I already found the super secret room. So here we go. Well, kind of works, kind of doesn't. Uh, let's let's just let him party and hope that. Yeah, a lot of this is just needing a lot more fancy footsteps than you normally would expect to have. Like just avoid that damage. Right. We now have an angel room. And with the angel room we have homing shots and damage up. Which are damage is at like the maximum anyways. So let's do this. Wow. So, key piece one. Hmm. Let's go ahead and, I guess, take the Emperor's card. I don't think there's anything else worth really running around to pick up. It'd be kind of crazy to go to Mega Satan, like, if you don't need to. I wouldn't be surprised if all the challenges actually only take you to the um, Cathedral and Isaac. Let's see, like, immediately we have Soul Hearts galore showing up. I guess I could have also taken out Monstro a lot easier had I just pulled the Book of Belial, which I keep forgetting I have. I put that there and then walk the guy to the bomb. Yeah, if only I had a dark bum, then this would be great. Notice how that, that enemy got transformed into a faster, meaner version of itself. Is there seriously not a secret room here? I guess not. set for a moment at least a little set like there's still a lot of w ways in which you can just take damage like compared to the regular way you play Isaac there's plenty of times in which you would just have preferred to been able to shoot and fill a room full of tears What's funny is this kind of trains you to see just how many of the patterns that exist can be one hit killed if you 
magically have the things necessary to drop a bomb speed and range up and I am tiny hmm. which that will definitely make it more difficult for people to hit me hmm So question becomes, is it worth it to look at the entire floor, or should we take on Adepts 2 boss? Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to pause the recording for a second, and I'll just be right back. Right. One sec. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Seems like going these super long recordings, which end up being two, three hours, constantly require me to take a bathroom break in the middle of them. Um, let's see. Let's keep on playing. And yeah, you don't generally want to break your stride when you're playing a video game. Uh, Isaac in particular, you don't want to break your stride, but... Eh, what can you say? Like, it's definitely not worth getting like a bladder infection or something. Uh, just to play a video game or something worse okay so we can blow ourselves into this room through the secret room and save ourselves a key we can blow up that just go ahead and leave and come back up that rock there's kind of you just run across the whole setup here hmm. just pick up everything walk out of the room we're still looking for I guess a super secret room hmm Oh man, this is like you would have hoped that the gravity would have pulled these poops in towards them, but it's not really happening. Let's see. I'm wondering if I'm just missing where the secret rooms would be because of the gravity sliding me around I'm running out of opportunities aren't it what what hit me there I don't even know what, what I just took damage on and we need the deal with the angel if we're gonna try and get the other key is it worth it to hit fire if I can't do anything with the fire Oops. and see if we were to get the item that increased your explosions hmm and your explosion size I don't know if that would be a good thing or a bad thing because that just does potentially risk your risk you taking even more damage all right um, what are we looking for soul hearts I guess hmm. we'll have to go in and out of the room a lot 
Skatol might mean something. I think there's a reason to, to take the blood bag with us for coins. I, I could potentially try and go into the challenge room, but I don't think it's worth our time using the blood bag. Um, we could run around this entire floor after doing the challenge room, potentially, and, and trying to pick up any health left on the floor if I was playing a regular run and not a challenge I probably would run around the entirety of this floor and try try to blow up things Hmm. Well, I've double checked on that. Unless there was a super secret room connected to the back of the shop, which would make no sense. Guess it has to be here. Hmm. Wow. And we just have so many Soul Heart's coming towards us. We've mostly broken out of the glass cannon idea. That there still is a danger, of course. Like, I don't know if I'd really want to play the power. Um, let's see, we'll pop this early. Hmm. Soul, negative, dark. Uh, eternal heart into this and here we go and there we just beat an angel without even taking any damage so now we have the full ki key theoretically we go down to mega satan as a glass cannon and try to take him out. Hmm. If the game lets us. Which is a big if, certainly. This may very well just stop and give us the trophy at, at Mom's Heart. And if it does, then there's really no room for complaints. I don't think it's worth it now to blow up rocks looking for things. I'm not even sure it's worth it going through each room. Coins and bombs. Definitely gonna feel different. This might be a tinted rock. Nope. Although, I don't even know what I'm looking for in a tinted rock. Either. Like, it probably would just give us more red hearts, and unless we. If we play well, we won't need any red hearts. Hmm. There's another soul heart. Hmm. Yeah, the question is, could we get any item here that would help us more? I guess we're safe, so we might as well go for it. Maybe this was a mistake. 
Hopefully this doesn't become a huge mistake. We're not one hit killing these characters yet. So a little bit more damage would be probably appreciated. Money equals power might really be a consideration still. can bomb the chest far away from the spikes and by far away I do mean fairly far away that way if it drops something so now we have mom's pearl interesting the Bible and how to jump hmm Hmm. Dead Seed Scroll. I have no idea what it does. And there's no reason to fight the angel. Hmm. Hmm. It opened a hole in the floor. I could just skip the floor. Um, I think we can't do that though in this challenge because that that might that could be a huge mistake. We kind of don't have anything else to do, so we should just give all the coin, all the keys to this guy. Hmm. Bob's rotten head. Yeah, I don't see a reason why we take that. Hmm. It kind of feels like these guys will just constantly let you feed them more and more keys but they do eventually give you a final item um yeah oops that was now we're gonna do this put this somewhere near the center Once again, this is a collection of enemies that suck. So, there went our soul hearts. What we don't have is anything that makes us fly, anything that severely reduces our damage. Our damage is ridiculously high, obviously. The blue cross is helping us quite a bit and that definitely would not have been an item that just had to have been unlocked so because we got that for de defeating Isaac as Magdalene so the, there is this synergy that's happening where as you unlock a new item that new item may make other unlocks easier probably will make other locks more easier. Alright, now. Let's see. Hmm. 
Hmm, would there be any argument to going through the sacrifice shenanigans? I'd say probably not. Let's see if we can find the super secret room. And... Secret rooms, I guess. Hmm. We, we already know what a secret room is, so... Yeah, this creates a weird situation where it's hard to tell where a super secret room would be if there would be a super secret room at all, which is maybe an if. Hmm. And that's one of those examples where Come on. Yep. Since there was the library, there might just not be a super secret room. Which it feels like there should be one, but I could see an argument as to why there wouldn't be one. So that's the entire floor as far as I can tell. Um, unless there's a super secret room here or here. The Loki horns have proven themselves to be fairly useless. Yes, we could look here and blow up some rocks. They don't seem to be as dangerous as they have been in the past. I'm just going to put a bomb here. That's weird. And if I was to blow up some of these rocks and find something on the sides here, I wouldn't be able to reach it anyways. Hmm. Okay. That was dumb. We've got five more keys. Give me something that will give me more soul hearts. Well. He had all the opportunities in the world. Monkey's paw, wish granted, versus mom's pearl. Hmm. Um, I guess I'll just take Monkey's Paw. Darn it. I need to be better than this. Uh, yeah, I'll take Monkey's Paw. We'll see how that goes. I'm not 100% sure what it does. The only other thing we could do is take Fetal Protection. Hmm. There's definitely not enough hearts around to do the sacrifice room. So here we go, Mr. Fred. Okay. 
HP and damage up even more. You know what? We'll just take the Dead Sea Scrolls. Hmm. Hmm. And I guess if we're going down either way, we'll go down this one. Sure, why not? Even without the Book of Belial, our damage is fairly so high. Okay. So it seems like the Dead Sea Scrolls basically do anything and everything. So, first thing we'd want to do is just put as much coinage in that. Anytime when that happens, we'll have to come out and undo this. Hmm. Like, I don't know what I'm really doing here. Like, if I take breakfast, that just raises our HP up. Like, are we really just looking for Skatol at this point? Hmm. I mean, and this is doing like full heart damage. That that doesn't make sense to play around with that. We blow up those. I don't know why I'm wasting bombs on that, but whatever. Take a breath, rethink things. Yeah, realize what we just did was dumb. Like the only thing we've been doing this whole run is building up our health. Um, yeah, I don't think we can do, I mean, Every time we pull the dead screes, dead sea scrolls, we're going to potentially risk our life just for goofiness sake. We're gonna have to play. to play a lot to try and get our health back hmm. and this seems like this would just take us upwards and we can't go upwards yet even if that is where the challenge leads because we just don't know for certain I, I could look it up online, of course, uh, but with that lingering uncertainty, I, I really do want to bite mom's heart and make sure there isn't uh, an easier victory. Right, 
catch up. I guess I also want to find any chance of red hearts since we wasted a bunch. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we want the matchstick. Although maybe we do. Matchstick tastes like burning. Does that possibly do more damage? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, that would be a risky trade. Of course, I don't really even know what the monkey's paw does. So, like that, half the trinkets, I I don't have a clue as to what they do, or I have a vague idea. Hmm. Okay, that would give us soul hearts instead of crazy dead sea scrolls let's let's run with that book of revelations i don't think using the book of revelations kills mega Satan or anything like that uh, i definitely know that using the bible will cause you to die immediately um, against mega Satan. and having double charge on the this will give you potentially two soul hearts. Might as well just leave the coins on the floor. Have we found the super secret room and secret room? Yes, we have, so we don't need to look for that. If anything, all we're really doing is looking for charges. Looking for red hearts and charges, I guess. <laughs> hmm. I forget it. It's not worth the, the effort. I'll take the black heart we'll skip those two rooms we'll take lemon party with us we'll go fight mom's heart lemon party not being particularly useful in mom's heart where it lives but whatever I don't think it's worth potentially taking a lot of damage Yep. Okay, we can go up or down. It seems to me like up is the extra, down is the way they want you to go. Uh, is there any soul hearts anywhere? I don't think so, so we'll just take that now. <clears throat> now, none of this is going to unlock actually beating Satan or Mega Satan or anything like that for whatever character we're actually playing as. So, and that that's going to be a shame, certainly, but there's, I guess, nothing, nothing we can do about that. Generally, I guess we want to just try and rush through this as fast as possible.
forward we go. Hmm. And our blue soul heart generators not going to prove itself to be particularly useful now that our health is so high. So ideally we would look for some deals with the devil or something that could trade our health away for something else. And I guess until we get our red hearts back, we are... Damn it. Yeah, until we can get our red hearts back up to where we want it to be, we need to continue trying our best here. I have an extra life. I don't know. Did we get that through Guppy's collar? I don't think I did. So I have no idea where that came from. Um, Eternal Heart. Now, how can we use that to our advantage? We don't want to take it now. We would have to pretty much just find another Eternal Heart. Seriously, quit taking damage. Well, the good news is this isn't this isn't killing us as badly as it could but it's still killing us pretty badly like remember we started with one red heart I guess you have to just kind of wait a little bit longer to get the timing right. Okay. We've got some soul hearts, so let's go back and get one. I need a full health. Refill. This is really dumb because the thing that would have ensured victory would have just been to not stupidly give health to the sacrifice. Um, blood banks. Or maybe hold on to the child's heart. That also probably would have helped fairly well. If I could just fly, I could get that red heart. Flaming upside down cross.
Hmm. Is there a possibility that there's a secret room here? Or a secret room here? Hmm. Or a secret room there? Well, we already know where the secret room is, so it would be more of a question about where the super secret room is. able to slowly pull this back let's take that just in case that gives us a um, I guess I can can't pick up these soul hearts can I um, I bet I can't pick up the soul hearts in this room either so I can pick up the one in this room but I'll have to remember n not to expect to be able to get the others I'm not blowing up rocks. Okay, we, we did get an eternal heart. Which does mean that we can get the other eternal heart. And we can get one more HP up. Instead of a soul heart. Which I guess is better. Hmm. It would be better if there was a deal with the devil somewhere, but we don't have that. So that makes our item that we have right now fairly useless. Is there another item possibly we could grab instead? I don't think so. Probably doesn't really matter that much. I think with luck we fight Satan. And that's the end of that. If not, we go down to the to the dark place and we fight the lamb and Mega Satan. I wouldn't be surprised if actually the game just stops us here. Now the only real issue here would be, let's just lemon party this and see if we can, yeah the only real issue there would have been to just have him stomp me a whole bunch and not be able to actually get it done. Um, so we can't go to Mega Satan even though we have the key because it's a challenge. We probably could have fought Isaac instead of satan and finish the challenge but maybe not that may have just messed us up terribly so we played it safely and now we've unlocked the rules card what does the rules card do i don't know but what i almost assume for certain it doesn't do is explain the rules to the game to you um but maybe it does. Maybe it's some kind of trinket that will directly explain every other item and trinket 
to you. It feels like, particularly in repentance, there should be a system like that where you are just getting told exactly what the items do. Um, as far as train, uh, challenges left as Darkness Falls, Suicide King, I think I'll probably try Suicide King and Waka Waka. Um, which we've tried those a few times, but we're pretty much getting to the point where we're close to being done. Item-wise, there's still a decent number of items we apparently have just never picked up. But I don't think a ton of them are actually items that are locked behind things. Uh, unless there's like 12 items locked behind the, the Lost. Which maybe there is. Maybe there's like 5 items around that. We're still uh, unable. We need to look. I need to look up and see how to get to ending 14 and ending 16. And then secrets wise we have 95 unlocked. Um, which, yeah, I can't help but assume that some of this is just because we have not put enough coins in the donation machine and more runs, more losses, uh, more deaths are all it really takes. The other thing, of course, would be unlocking the lost, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and yeah. The way this is depicted, where Isaac now holds the D6, and then this is locked, makes me think that there's probably only one more item change as far as the uh, startup uh, happens. Uh, as far as start items go. So maybe you get the blue baby to start with an item. Hmm. There seems to be like there's something around Eve and then you have this long list of lock things and then it is now very short gaps of things otherwise to unlock hmm. you have a run of four items ideally this would be the four items that the lost unlocks, unlocks and the rest are just items we have yet to do it, it would be crazy if this is you've unlocked like Abaddon or somebody else and then the lost uh, but I, I'm fairly certain with just rebirth until you get to the afterbirth DLC there is um, just the lost as a character and clearly there's one more rune to unlock which might be helpful. Runes aren't sa gonna save you. We've unlocked the credit card, but we've not actually collected and used the credit card. Maybe we collected it and didn't use it. Hmm. There's still some long sections here. It would be weird if this long run here is all stuff that's been added via the deals, uh, via rebirth as far as you have to play on hard that would kind of make sense though if each of those secrets are things from that are unlocked by playing on hard and I need to research that some and see if that is the case but yeah we are soon going to be past 100 secrets and then it just becomes a question as far as how much more time do I want to put into Isaac before I just call it a series and once I get the afterbirth DLC then I would come back and everything would be a little bit different and maybe a little bit easier um, hmm I don't think you'd probably only unlock anything based on best streaks. Mom kills are up to 17. Deaths though are only up to 35 so um, if I was going to try and unlock the scissors and it really takes 100 deaths I would simply have to just intentionally die over and over again. 
Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.